Today we're putting our morals in our orals. Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning! Happy November 3rd, y'all! It's Election Day, or as we now like to call it, Vote Like a Beast Day. Yeah, many of you have already mailed in your ballots or participated in early voting in your states, but if you're planning on voting in person today, VoteLikeABeast.com can help you find your polling place. And listen to this, if you haven't even registered yet, if you haven't even registered yet, you can still register today and vote today in the following states. California, okay. Colorado, Connecticut, DC, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Iowa, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Montana, Nevada, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Utah, Vermont, Washington, and Wisconsin. So there are no excuses if you're in one of those states. Go register today and vote today. I like how you say Vermont. 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 <laughs> Thank you for voting and being your mythical best. Hey, you know, you talk about... Positivity in the comments, please. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that, that's, that's what you were trying to get Thank to. you. Let's, I'm also asking for that. All right. And in honor of voting like a beast, today we're going to put our morals and our molars to the test to guess how y'all voted on some ethical dilemmas. It's time for Choose Wisely. We put a survey out there to see what you would do in a wide range of hypothetical moral dilemmas. Mm, and now we have to guess what the majority of you answered. And each answer is gonna be represented by an identical looking iconic food from a US swing state. And to make our choice, we must eat the food we think corresponds to the right answer. And if we pick the wrong dish, our ballot box belly isn't gonna feel the burn or whatever nasty sensation is associated with it. Uh -huh. Let's play. All right, Rhett, let's see what our first dilemma is. To clone or not to clone? You are abducted by aliens and they say you have to go back to their home planet and you will never see your family again. Would you rather the aliens replace you with a clone that is like you in every way but is not you and your family will never be able to tell the difference or would you rather just disappear without a trace? Hmm. Wow, So let's see what our choices are. So we've got... To clone or not to clone. To clone or not to clone, and we've got some Wisconsin cheese curds here. <laughs> oh man, man I they love smell cheese good, curds. but I know one of them is I don't want to get this nasty. Wrong. It's either your family knows the truth or they have the an experience of continuing to love and enjoy and relate to you forever. This is pretty... Well, not forever. For me, but. this is pretty simple because, yeah, you get to give them the experience as if you never left, but you also get not the benefit, I guess, you got abducted, but you have the experience of going to be with the aliens, but they are interacting with, I know scientifically a clone isn't gonna, it isn't gonna have your experiences, but that in this stated dilemma, right. this clone is a clone of you in, in your entirety, including all your experiences and memories. It's like you in every way. Like you in every way. So it's, they're gonna experience it as you. It's also a, a question of truth. So when you don't give them a clone, you're giving them the truth. A lie. And then, hey, they might can come rescue you. So there might, there might, there's a sliver of hope. That's all true, but that feels like it's thinking it about it too deeply. My 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 gut level. said just give them the clone and t take it on the chin. So so we're agreeing, which means with each other is to... that we think. Okay. That's just a cheese card, y'all. Oh, that tastes good. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, that's one of the greatest things on on the planet, I think. So 59% of the mythical beasts said that they would choose to clone themselves. So yeah. you were right. What do we Only 59%? What do we miss yeah, out on? Yeah, it's a close one. What'd y'all do to those cheese curds? Oh, you want to taste it and find out? No. Oh, okay. I mean, I can... It smells the same. It's something you've had before. Oh, wait. oh. 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 Oh my gosh, it, it's so bitter. All I did was bite it. I'll eat it, another real one. It gushed bitter. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some help with that. All right, our next dilemma is, you receive a pair of magic glasses in the mail. Yes. But they come with a warning. Ooh. If you put the glasses on, you will see one future crime per day, which you'll be able to stop from happening. But every night, you will dream about one way worse crime that you weren't able to stop. Oh. Do you put the glasses on? Every crime fighter is tortured by something, but this is quite a torture to like know that there's something that's even worse than what you're solving every day 
every night you're tortured well, by let, not let, being able to let's solve Let's see what we're going to. Oh, uh, yeah. We might be eating. What oh, is, we're eating some Buckeyes oh, it's from the chocolate, Buckeye State. Chocolate peanut butter balls from Ohio. Okay, mm. I, it feels to me that, again, this is a question of are you gonna be selfish or not be selfish, right? Because if you put the glasses on, you are now helping a lot of people and you're making the sacrifices of having to experience the, basically the news of a bad crime, which you might otherwise see anyway if you just read the news. But the, the other thing would just be a purely selfish decision to be like, I don't want to be involved in that and I don't want to have bad dreams every night even for the sake of humanity. Well, let's talk about boundaries for a second. Personal boundaries. So each person who we ask to vote might say, you know what, I don't have the capacity to dream every single night of a heinous crime that I have no ability you know, to help. And so even if you want to help with this stuff in the daytime, that might, it, it might dismantle your psyche over time. I think it's the burden of a hero. And I think most mythical beasts would gladly accept the burden of a hero. But what I'm saying is you're not necessarily a villain because you you understand, hey, this is not oh, this no. is not the life I want to live. It doesn't I don't want to make you I don't a bad li- person. I don't want to live the life. It's different, there's no difference between being a hero and being a crime fighter. And actually, that, that's it's more about saying. magic glasses. So, it, <laughs> so I'm right. saying put the glasses on. Uh, I'm saying morally, don't feel bad if you say don't put the, you know what? Screw it. Well then eat it if you feel that yeah, way about I it. I do feel that way. It's okay to decide not to put the glasses okay. on, even though. And you gotta eat I'm, the whole thing. This isn't take a bite, this is just put the whole thing in your mouth. I'm being an example here, even though I think most of you voted for this. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking up for the minority. It's really salty. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong about the minority. This tastes good. Most of you guys, how many see? Yeah, so you were right, Link. Sixty-seven percent of the mythical bees said that they would choose not to put on the glasses. Do you think it's for the reason I gave, or is there some reason I'm missing? No, I think it's pretty obvious that, like, you can't if you if you can't live with the burden of dreaming about that crime, then those magic glasses ain't for you. But what all the and people okay. who are, all the people who are going to suffer hmm. because you're just because you don't want to have bad dreams? Wah wah wah! You can be a hero. Our next ethical dilemma is as follows. Psychopath versus best friend. Mm. You, you befriend a powerful elf. Okay. Who has the ability to make every evil psychopath in the world feel empathy for the first time, thereby changing their evil ways for the better. However, in order for the elf to make this happen, he must turn one person into a full-blown psychopath, you guessed it, your best friend. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, Man, this is a uh, this is a powerful L. This is basically a trolley problem on steroids, right? Because it's are you going to do the most for humanity at the expense of someone who's very close to you? So if you're just a robot who's just judging moral decisions, this is incredibly easy. Of course, you replace even the one troublesome psychopath who is not your best friend with all the people who are not. Uh, psychopaths anymore. That's if, super, super obvious from just a strict moral standpoint. Yeah, but what if you have strong suspicions that your best friend is a psychopath? Ah, well then, you, well then, you, I mean, you have nothing to lose at all. I mean, it's easy for you. This would be an easy decision for you. <laughs> but you're the one who can't smell, so you're technically more of a psychopath. Um, um, I'm just into the powerful elf part of well, this. What are we like, about to eat, first of all? I mean, Ooh. yeah, we always forget. Now this is, this is a Sonoran dog representing Arizona. I think enough of you r- recognize the the large scale ramifications of this decision, and you're gonna take the sacrifice and turn right. your best friend into a psychopath. I agree with that because you you know you, you can make such a positive change. I'm gonna pull, who needs a best friend. I'm gonna pull back the nipple of the bolio just a little bit, just to get that out of the way, so I can go deep. Rip off the nip. That's good. That tastes good to me. Wait, are you sure that tastes good? Actually, no. <laughs> it is very sour. Now, <laughs> I thought I was just tasting a lot of mayo, and then I don't think I got to it yet. Uh, it 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 it's hitting really hard now. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, at the moment you were saying that, I was like, oh, I'm wrong. This one was really close because 55% of the mythical beasts said that they would not turn their friend into I'm it. learning some things about you, beasties. I'm learning some things. I can't, you got it. I can't trust you. That's, it seems that's, like that's what I can't. They're, they're, I, I can't trust the the peace of the entire world. It's the, it's not safe in your hands. Well, we got three closes this time, as if it needed to be more complicated. All right, final dilemma: hot air disaster. A drone flies and rips through a hot air balloon carrying three people: a man, a woman, and a child. Two people can be saved if someone jumps to their death. The woman knows how to safely fly the balloon. The man knows how to end world hunger. Well, okay, all right. Okay. And the young child is totally innocent. Who should jump? All right, let's not forget to open the cloches like we do every time. What do we have here? We got the man, the woman, and I'm assuming the child. What is this? Oh Dish. boy, this is peach cobbler and it looks beautiful. Representing Georgia. <laughs> but one of the them peach is not state. beautiful. My home you guys state. you guys drive by that big peach ever in yes, Georgia? Yes, South Carolina. Oh yeah, sure. First of all, the woman can safely pilot the balloon, but the man, maybe he can unsafely pilot the balloon if the woman jumps. And the man can end world hunger, but he may not choose to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it, it doesn't say- So he's an a-hole. Because if you go with, the, it says the man knows how to end world hunger. Okay. Right? Now, let's if it says the hairs. man will let's, end let's world Let's say hunger. he will. No, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to get into their minds because, okay, here's how I would do this. Just straight up, I always analyze this but the same way. let's just push the kid over. I would, no, listen. I'm pushing the kid over. Unfortunately, the kid is the one who has to go because the man is has the potential and the intention, I guess, to end world hunger. The woman can ensure the safety of the man. Of the man. What, and, what's the child? And the child do? hasn't even really lived that much life yet. Just get rid of him. The child. <laughs> the child represents potential and innocence. But if the child is old enough to make the decision to jump themselves then I'm all for that. If the child's like, you know what, I will jump. I think everyone's making the decision for themselves. But the, the children, again, it kind of falls back on itself because the children are the ones everybody cares about. So nobody wants to throw the kid over. Everybody, every, especially, you know, it's just like, who cares if the guy can get rid of hunger? He's a man, throw him overboard, right? I know you want, I know you want the kid, right? Just go ahead and grab it. You want to kill the kid. You want to kill the innocent yeah, child. Yeah, I do. I don't because, fight it yet. Because I want to end world hunger. It's but like, two times in a row, the mythical beasts have not chosen what is the greatest moral good. They've chosen incorrectly. So I don't think I can go with the kid. But so I don't I don't understand. You can't go with the I man. can't make an argument for either other here, person. Here it is. I can't make it. Here it is. The person who knew how to pilot it jumped. But that person, man or woman, just happened to say, hey, just grab these two things and go like that. I haven't wanted to tell anybody that because oh, I've been charging for this service. I like this answer. The point is, the woman gives a quick tutorial and then yeah, jumps. Okay, it, only okay, takes all right. a, it only takes a few seconds. I'm on team woman. Let's get rid of the woman. Uh, I don't think anybody wants to kill a child, but I think that's, I'm on team child. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, you're, you know what, it's definitely the right answer, but that's not what we're trying it's to decide. It's the right answer. Oh, this is hot. This is good. Oh. Yeah. This is spicy. Oh. Yes. So, so you guys made the right decision. Yeah, so 47% of the mythical beasts uh. would have the child jump. And uh, boy, the comments on, on this tweet, if you go to our mythical uh, Twitter, are are uh. quite entertaining. Oh, yeah? Highly recommend. <laughs> you know what it was? when we have never been so happy to see a child plummet. Here's what happened. <laughs> when we divided it into three different choices, it skewed the numbers in a way that made that choice actually a viable choice. Your left eye is crying. Whew, what is in that? What makes it so hot? Ghost pepper. Ghost pepper. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't go there. Good work, guys. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell, little beasties. You know what time it is. It's time to vote. Vote! Vote! vote. Hey, Rhett and Link. It's Adam from Toledo, Ohio, and it's time to spin. Man, you gotta put some clips on those weights. You're going up in a world of hurt, man. <laughs> I was nervous for the guy. Click the top link to watch us guess which things are heavier <laughs> than others in ah. Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Make your voice heard and vote like a beast. Visit votelikeabeast.com for all your voting needs.